Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and beside me, we've got the GEE Tech A10M printer. I've been talking to you about Vert's hobbies and updating uh, firmware is super simple. My friends, let's run through the steps with this one so you can see how it all comes together. All right, so the first thing you should do is make sure you find Vert's hobbies. I will make sure that I have a link up that you can click so you can actually check it out. You can see that he's adding new cool stuff daily, and he's also got different ways that you can connect with him as well. If you check his GitHub, uh, which you can get from any of his videos, you'll be able to find the latest version that you can download. I'm going to simply go to the release page and download the zip file. I always save mine to my downloads folder. Easier to find when I'm done with it. And then we need to find Visual Studio Code. I'm Googling it, but I will put a link in the description. You can go right to download if you want to speed the process up. And hit download for Windows 10. I'm getting the X64, once again, putting it in download so I can install it. When it's finished downloading, you can launch it. Accept what it asks. Hit next. Pick a location. That's fine for me allow it to install. I do want the path to be added. I am going to create a desktop icon. When I hit next I can install and let it do its thing. While that's happening I'm going to go to the folder where that Marlin is and I'm going to right click and I use 7-zip and I'm going to extract it to the Marlin 492 folder. And that is complete. Visual Studio is done. I am not going to launch it yet. Instead, I'm going to close out, reboot, and pick up after it's got that path updated. Alright, so after reboot, let's launch Visual Studio Code. Alrighty, friends, so once we get Visual Studio loaded, let's open a folder. When you hit open a folder, remember we put ours in downloads, and we simply want to get in the folder. Once you're here, you can hit select give it some time and it will load if we click over here where it says the marlin b492 folder or yours may be different because of a different version we're going to start on the start here file now before it can do anything we need to get some code the first piece of code or the first extension i want you to add is simply platform.io so if i type pla there we can see it and we can hit install and let it do its thing you can see also down here that it wants to configure our IntelliSense settings. We'll do that in a minute. We'll just let it finish with the PIO loading first. And you can see the entire time the process is going on, they describe it down here and they talk to you about it and they'll let you know when it's done. When it's complete, let's return back to our folder view. Once again, we're in the start here. And this is where Vert has done all his amazing work. Uh, shows you how to get to his stuff so you can check out the cool videos he's creating. He's got all these versions that we can do almost instantly. Uh, like I showed you, I've got an A10M. To switch to the A10M, all I need to do is go down here to where it says Enable Mix, and I need to backspace so it's enabled. I do not have any of these mods. I don't have a touch probe. I'm not going to do the heater accuracy. I do want to test the filament runout. So I'm going to backspace over that. And then everything else is fine. Nothing else in here to fiddle with. It's that easy. Now one thing I like to do just for fun is I like to go up to the machine name. And I want to give it something besides 3D printer. So I'm going to call this A10M. And then I'm going to put HLMT for HL Mod Tech. And I'm going to put a 1 after it. As soon as you're done with that, double check to make sure you don't have any errors. Sometimes you just need to restart your uh, system to get it checked. Uh, before it'll have all the little drivers and stuff and you can hit build and it will do all its work to build it mine took two minutes but i like speeding up the video so you don't have to wait and there when you get to the end it shows you that it is finished and all is groovy and then this is the magic page that lets us get to the firmware all right so let's hold down control and click on that hex file we want It'll open up this and we can do open containing folder or reveal in file explorer. 
and there is that sweet little hex that we need. Now instead of having it stored all the way down there, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to put it back in my Marlin folder right at the root, and then I'm going to real quickly launch Kira. Alright, so once you've got Kira updated, uh, if you haven't actually added your printer, let me show you something cool. You can see I was using this with my old printers. Uh, now, if you go to non-networked and custom, the GE Tech printers are in the list. And we want the A10M, and we can add it. I'm going to turn the little printer on. I've already connected it via USB. I'm going to add a little part just so that it knows. I'm going to add my famous cube if I can get back to it. That's what I usually print for my first print just to make sure it's cool. And then down here I can see print via USB. That means it is connected. And then if we go to settings printer and manage printers, we can on the GE Tech update the firmware. We want to do a custom firmware. Remember, we stored ours all the way back in the Marlin folder, and it was called firmware.hex. Always double-check to make sure you're grabbing the right one. And just like that, you can send it to the machine. I'm going to speed this up by 5x as well, because as you can see, nothing happens on that screen anyhow. And there you can see, it just rebooted. And now it's called A10M HLMT1. It was that easy. Alrighty, friends, there you got all the steps. If this is your first time, that should get you through it quick. I will run through some tests of what it prints like now that it's got the new firmware. Those will be in a separate video, though. We'll try and wrap this one up. Make sure you take time to support Vert. He's got awesome stuff on his channel. He's always giving us new features. Need to make sure we keep up with him. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.